This was where Osama bin Laden lived for six years, a home registered under a fake ID. The Pakistani report indicates that no one knew he was there, at least not officially. But it was not for a lack of clues. This is what the investigation found out. The Al-Qaeda leader hired two brothers to guard him and paid each 9,000 rupees a month. That's about $90 to the so-called Kuwaiti brothers, Ibrahim and Abrar, for guarding the world's most wanted. In 2005, just two months after bin Laden moved in, a massive earthquake struck. A local policeman tells the commission the compound walls collapsed. Bin Laden was exposed, but he still was not found. He lived with his two youngest wives for years. His eldest wife was escorted to Abbottabad just three months before the American raid. Before that, the document confirms Khairiya stayed in the Iranian capital Tehran for nearly eight years, 2002 to 2010. The report also contains evidence of previously unknown preparations made for the raid by the CIA. Nearby poplar trees were cut down. The army's top lawyer suspects it was to facilitate the approach of the US helicopters. A man called Said Iqbal went on a nearby roof and took photographs. Iqbal was a former ISI officer with his own security firm. Pakistan's spy chief tells the commission his profile matched that of a CIA recruit. And since the raid, Iqbal tried to sell his property and the report notes that he fled the country. The night of the raid takes on a new narrative, as told by Pakistani witnesses and bin Laden's wives. First, four to five vehicles are seen leaving the U.S. Embassy towards Abbottabad. The Army suggests they may have been CIA agents to assist the helicopters. U.S. choppers take off from Jalalabad Air Base in Afghanistan after 2,300 hours. They fly low and fast over the border, entering Pakistani airspace around 20 minutes later. Pakistani radars do not detect them. The report says they are at rest, or as the Air Force prefers, peacetime deployment. At about 30 minutes after midnight, two Blackhawks arrive at the compound. The sound of the helicopter wakes bin Laden and his youngest wife, Amal. She tells investigators, bin Laden said the American helicopters had arrived. She went to turn on the light, but the Sheikh says no. It's no use anyways, the electricity cuts out across the area. At the same time, one of the American choppers crashes nearby. Locals hear it. Amal sees an American soldier on the landing. She rushes him. But he screamed, no, no, and shot her in the knee. In the report, the eldest wife says, one of the soldiers seemed as frightened as her. He looked as if he had seen a witch. At 1.06 a.m., U.S. forces blow up the downed helicopter and leave. The document details how the Air Force only learns of the raid on television. At 2.07 a.m., the Army chief orders jets to shoot down the intruding helicopters. It takes them up to 16 minutes to reach the area. And it's too late anyway. The Americans have already gone, taking bin Laden's body with them.